Hi everybody, this is Becky. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. It's been a while since I've done a video. I think I did one for Valentine's Day. I did a DIY. But I haven't done any more DIYs because I've been busy. I have not been inspired. Uh, I've been too busy and tired. You know, life sometimes. But anyway, I'm busy working and doing other things. Um, let me tell you about this coronavirus thing because I am in Washington State. I am in the Seattle area. And people are, a lot of people are in really panic mode. So I'm trying to keep my senses, you know, not going to panic because it's not good to, to allow fear into our lives. It, it, it stresses you out and when you're stressed, your immune system then gets depleted or goes down. I don't know how to say it, blah, 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 blah. Goes down, it's not as sufficient. So that's not good. But anyway, um, Remember to drink a lot of water, stay hydrated, eat, you know, rest, that's very important. The thing is wash your hands really well. Uh, I heard it say you just think the happy birthday song while you're washing your hands and you're good to go. It's about 20 seconds long. So let me tell you what's going on at work. So people come in, everybody comes looking for sanitizers and of course it's a hard commodity now, it's pretty much out. Uh, we did catch some today and they will probably be gone by the end of the afternoon. I already ended my shift. Thank God I, I worked a long day today. But that's what everybody's looking for, the hand sanitizers. Um, yeah, the anti, the, the disinfectant sprays, are, you know, those are hard to find also as well. But you know what, people don't hoard so much stuff because then every, all the people are not able to buy them so they cannot really take care of themselves, uh, protect themselves well. But this is what's going on. I think cash, being pre uh, using common sense really helps, not only for the, this virus, but even the flu and the cold in the flu season, a lot of people die. Thousands of people die every year from 18,000 to 60,000 people die every year from the common flu. So, so you know, let, let's, let's use common sense. You have a runny nose, don't wipe your nose with your hands. Yes, <laughs> I had a customer who did that. Had a runny nose, he, had, uh, he, he was about to pay, he was gonna push his, his information on the card, you know, the uh, e-card, the card reader. He wiped his nose with his hands and then he touched it. I was like, hmm, really? I, you know, I felt so grossed out, but you know, I didn't make the face in front of him. But I waited until he was done and left, and then I disinfected that thingy with a uh, Lysol spray for the next customer who was coming. So yeah, I've been disinfecting my area. I disinfect the cart readers every day, a couple of times during my shift. I disinfect my cash register, the keyboard, you know, the board, the, the keyboard, yeah. The keyboard for the, the cash register and, and things like that. Because I want to keep myself safe. I've thought of using gloves, but I cannot function well with those gloves. Um, I have other um, co-workers who do use the gloves, and yeah, because you know they want to be safe. But but that's what happened. I, I couldn't believe it. Wiping his nose with his hands and then touching the carrier. I was like, oh God, it's so gross. Other people just are coughing. They're not covering their nose. You know, going like this. This is what I do at work when I cough, because this is allergy season for me. I had the itchy eyes and the whole works, you know. Go like this. Cough in, inside your shirt. Okay, don't, don't cough in all over the place, and then just go like this. As another customer did that today. He was going like that, and then he was going to touch the, the cart. No, the buggy. I was like, Lord, <laughs> why aren't they careful? So common sense, be careful, re be considerate to others who are going to use the same stuff that you are touching and we don't want to get them sick because then it spreads and we can, we can keep it at bay if we are careful and cautious. But yeah, these things happen. Mm -hmm. They do. You think, and this was not a child, it was an adult. Adults who do that, you know. Carry a hanky in your, in your pocket and use it just in case. Uh, but anyway, I don't know if I told you guys that uh, in December, um, you, you know, I, I got sick with a, with a cold. But I had a customer who sneezed in his, into his change. He went like this, sneezed on it, and he gave it to me. Yeah, I'm, I was like, what? I grabbed the money like, Whoa, the cooties. Yeah, the cooties. And I put it there in my register. Uh, but you know, 
I did I did sanitize my hands right away, you know. But uh, people were coughing in that lane like nothing. You know, I was sick for a few days with the cold. I had, I had a slight fever. I didn't have it too bad, but yeah, I think people are not careful. But that was gross. Sneezing in his change and his money, and then handing it over to the cashier. That is being disrespectful too. So I told my uh, my assistant manager about it, and she was like, "Oh my gosh, I would have said, uh, uh, I ain't, I don't want your money." <laughs> like oh, I couldn't do that, but anyway. So did this happen? The adventures of a cashier, let me tell you, is not boring. <laughs> and weird things happen every day, really weird stuff. People get mad because here in Washington State, well, I don't know if it's the whole state, but in my area, yeah. now we have to go bagless, which means that people have to buy either bring their own bag or buy a bag there. So we started today at my store because we were late getting them. It started on the first, uh, March 1st, but my store was late in getting those bags. And some people were upset that they had to pay for it. Eight cents, so it's not bad. Like in other stores, it was 25 cents for the plastic bag. Uh, eight cents for the, for the paper one, but it's, it's not like a big one. It's just like a small paper bag for eight cents, but eight cents is not too bad. But anyway, some people get upset and they say, no, I don't want to pay. Why do we have to pay? And they think it's the stores that want to do it. No, by law, we have to do it. But it's kind of funny how people will fight you on little things like that. They'll fight you over anything. <laughs> get Rihanna and stuff. I, uh, yeah, I got called lazy by one of the customers the other day. Um, she wanted me, she, she came into the store and she purchased like, I'm not going to forget it, okay? Some things you just don't forget. Four cans, and I don't remember if they were beans or whatever they were. And so, and she was telling me, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I have to catch the bus. So I, you know, I was rushing. I scanned the first can, put it in her, she brought her own bag. I put it in, and I started dropping it in. It made a sound. And like, did I break something? I looked inside her bag. She had a bowl, like a soup bowl, a dish inside the bag. Well, the can hit the bowl. I thought, oh my gosh, I almost broke it. So when I scanned the other ones, I was trying to be careful so I wouldn't hit the dish. And she got mad at me. She just said, hurry it up. I told you I'm in a hurry. You're, you're lazy. You're so lazy. You're being so lazy. You know, I, I think I was having a bad moment because I looked at her and I go, why are you calling me lazy, huh? Why do you have to call me lazy? I'm not being lazy. I don't want to break your dish that you have in there. Well, it doesn't matter. You're just still, you're still lazy. Uh, and I go, okay, okay. I, I thought, I'm going to lose it. I want to call her an ugly name, which I usually, I, I don't do that, you know, guys, I don't call people ugly names, but sometimes temptation can be big. Sometimes you can forget about Jesus and that we shouldn't, but because um, we're humans and I wanted to, <laughs> I was going to be mean to her, why are you calling me lazy? But I just said, you know what, it's okay. If you want to call me lazy, that's fine. And so she left, but uh, to be fair, I don't think she's so put together up here. Okay? I think she's missing a screw. Um, and then she came the other day and she called my boss fat. I told him, you get away, didn't you? He went, yeah, I've been eating more. And then he told me, did you hear that? She called me fat. I'm like, yeah, welcome to the club. She called me lazy the other day. So <laughs> the things we had to put up with, you know, when you deal with the public. But some people are lovely. Some people are funny. Some some people are really nice. I have a one crafty customer and she shows me pictures of the things that she had made she's really crafty i told her she should have her own channel on youtube um or on pinterest or something you know post something because she's very crafty and she loves to share um to show me what she's gonna do and stuff like that so you know people are really lovely some are not so much but anyway can you do <laughs> okay i try to be nice and cordial to everybody Anyway, that's what's going on in my neck of the woods. What's going on in your neck of the woods? Uh, I know you're probably scared in your area too. I don't know if you're running out of hand sanitizers. Uh, oh, we, we did run out of toilet paper the other day. Um, the stores were pretty much uh, wiped out of toilet paper. So I had to run and I buy a couple and stuff. But then, you know, they're back in the shelves because that's how it is. And I think people have calmed down like things are not going to disappear. It's not a zombie apocalypse, people. These are not going to disappear, so they'll be there. So you know they're there already. But uh, that was funny. Toil I was like toilet paper. Why <laughs> are people hugging toilet paper? What's going on with that? But I think they were afraid that if they have to be locked up in the home for two weeks or so, they wanted supplies. I don't know what it is, but 
You know, there's such a thing as ordering your stuff and having them delivered. So there's no, no, no reason to buy all this stuff, but I guess people are afraid or running out or maybe they don't want to interact with people. I don't know, especially, I guess I understand if they have, uh, I, don't, um, I mean, if they have a um, compromised immune system, that might be a reason to not want to interact with people. But if you're over 60, they said to be cautious. And if you're elderly, you really don't have to go out. Don't, don't visit uh, people who are, in, they have a, a compromised immune. If you don't have to visit them, please don't. Don't visit the elderly, the elderly either, unless you really have to. Let's just try to keep them safe. So at church, what we did uh, this Sunday was we told people not to shake hands. Um, I know at church, everybody loves to shake hands and hug and that kind of stuff. But we said, hey, let's not do that because some people may have been exposed to the coronavirus or maybe compromised or whatever. So that's what we did and it worked out really well. But it's sad when you have to do that. But, you know, we all want to be stay healthy. Anyway, so I hope everything is okay with you guys. Let's stay healthy. Let's not panic. And I don't know whether you believe or not. And I keep uh, declaring the word of God on my life and um, on my loved one. And that is Psalm, Psalm 91, which is uh, in no place. Nothing is going to touch our home. So go, go read it. It's a wonderful psalm. And I pray it or, or, over my life, over my loved ones, that it will be okay, you know, because I do deal with the public every single day. But uh, you know what? Let's not panic. Let's be cautious to care of ourselves. Let's wash our hands really well. And and just carry a hanky with you. <laughs> do not wipe your hands, your nose with your hands, please. But uh, that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to keep in touch with you all. And uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I've been watching this Southern channel and they're so funny and I'm kind of getting the you all thing. So I apologize for that. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Be blessed, you guys. Stay safe. Love you all. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to leave me a comment, I would, I would love to hear from you. If you like this video, give it a like. You know, the whole nine yards, everything. Okay, bye-bye.